Hello, my name is Gerald Bright, and today we'll be talking about the benefits of virtual reality, augmented reality, and the field of education. So before I uh, start my argument, I would like to um, would like to establish what virtual and augmented reality is and like the difference between them. So um, in Alice and the Looking Glass, uh, Alice goes through a mirror and comes into this different dimension or like a different reality. And it's the same case for virtual reality and augmented reality. Both are gateways to a separate um, virtual reality and both uh, both uh, are, you are entered through current tags such as phones or headgear. Virtual reality is um, the rendering of a three, complete 3D environment that is all graphically rendered. So for example, I see in the image, this woman is, has a headgear on and is looking at the city. The city is completely graphically rendered and none of it is real. On the other hand, we have uh, augmented reality. Augmented reality is only the partial augmentation of reality. So as can be seen here in this picture of Pokemon Go, the background of the image is completely real, while the Pokemon and the Pokeball are all on graphic renderings. So, as previously mentioned, um, AR and VR, they both have uh, great capability, but they both um, they both uh, go for gaming, the gaming industry instead of the educational industry. So how could these actually benefit them? So the first benefit would be first-hand experiences. Virtual reality would allow full immersion into situations that even though um, your body is in a different place, you would, you would still be there, right? So in attitudes towards Muslim women in the uh, West, Lila talks about the importance of first-person uh, experience due to the fact that without first-person experience, um, a lot of inference leaps and uh, stereotypes can be, make its way into real facts. So an example would be a, a surgeon in training. So a surgeon in training would, would probably practice on a dead body, but um, this wouldn't prepare him for a real-life experience of dealing with a real person, right? But with virtual reality, he could uh, watch a, a professional um, perform surgery, if not being there, not disturbing the surgeon. So both sides would benefit. And uh, obviously, it will be more engaging than a textbook or a lecture. Faculty Focus, um, a student tutoring group, um, did research and found out that students often lost focus due to repetitive sounds and such. And so uh, they lost a lot of crucial info. However, with um, augmented uh, reality, you, um, uh, students will most probably be way more focused due to the fact, imagine, you're in a classroom and you're in a chemistry class, right? And in the chemistry class, the teacher is lecturing about a reaction that's taking place and you don't understand and, and you, you, see, um, you see the reaction happen right in front of you due to the power of augmented reality. The last benefit? would be cost efficiency. Um, a, a big problem nowadays has been the limited fundings of schools, and it has led to you know, big problems, especially in HISD. Uh, last, last year, due to Hurricane Harvey, HISD lost a lot of funds, and it's even um, planning to remove the magnet funding. Well, VR would allow for overexpensive material be, to be available for classes. Since um, all these, um, all these, uh, all these material will be uh, virtual and not real, they can also be reusable. For example, uh, if an expensive chemical was needed to perform a lab in chemistry class, this, uh, this, could, be, uh, this could save a lot of money. But a problem with this, would, can, wouldn't it be too expensive to implement in an ordinary school? Well, this might be true, but there are different uh, versions of uh, virtual reality and augmented reality. There are different price range. And also, this was a problem that stemmed a few years ago with the need for computers in classrooms. And a lot of people said it would be too expensive and too burdensome on the school funds. But it was solved by um, a, a agreement with the company that was making it. And this, this problem could be solved in the same way. So in conclusion, um, virtual reality and augmented reality will have many benefits in the field of education, such as first-hand experience and, and so on. Thank you for your time. Those are my sources. Okay. All right. So let me ask you a few questions. All right. 
So, <clears throat> what evidence did you gather that you didn't use, and why did you choose not to use it? Well, um, I remember an evidence like it was um, it was the fact that uh, virtual reality um, in Spain uh, they implemented it right. But in Spain, it wasn't working out too well, and that would like it could kind of interfere with my argument, as in that uh, that it would be a beneficial, so I didn't include it. Okay. Um, so explain your level of certainty about your conclusion. Then. Um, I'm pretty sure because um, the U.S. and Spain have very different governments and very different lifestyles, and um, here it's way more modern. I think it will work out way better here. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.